All right, uh, so Ring of Tea, Staff Volatile Casting. We are good to go. The other items kind of aren't great, but uh, have you got to try the club more? Um, no, unfortunately not. We've uh, actually been trying to push instead of just find the items. I think yesterday we didn't play at all. We took the day off and we just did some video, video editing. Um, and the day before we were playing Paladin NG16. Yeah, NG16. I thought about going right back into the Paladin, but I don't know. It's kind of boring just playing the same thing over and over again. Back to back to back to back. So I at least want to uh, weave in some other characters. All right, and for drinks, I recommend Crimson Death, Incendiary Demise, Wicked Sickness, Starlet Stinger, and The Last Sin. Love that Warlock make all classes better. That's kind of how I feel about the the Sorcerer as well, because that Mana Gen is really nice, especially when we're doubling it in the Chapel. So everything is like twice as effective. We did get a free, like, NG just from the beta for uh, the Vampire Lord. We got bonus for all seven classes by doing that. Ranger and Wizard don't help a lot. I'm sure they'll be needed later, but currently they feel kind of like the lowest priority. Yeah, because it feels like Paladin, all you need is the Thief and the Warlock because you get mana regen from Ring of Tea, you, you're not really worried about damage because you can survive, you're not really worried about your health because you're just leeching, so like these four are just not even needed, you barely need the gold, it just makes it a little easier, so you don't have to like go around and pick up stuff constantly. Alright, Chapel Build we're using, Path the Magician, Blessing of Mind, and symbol of wisdom. All right, let's see what we want for the fountain. Uh, general traps, topple tower, safe corridors. I'm gonna try to fit in exceptional consumables. Uh, more monoliths, glass walks, treasure hunt. Seems to be the best. We'll go enemy reinforcements. No ore mini bosses mm, dry springs and agile the agile is like the uh, the one I'm not sure about here in some aspects you can play around with it uh, how much gold is that? 40k it's not horrible just 40k a pop kinda adds up eventually I don't have to have the exceptional it just makes it faster Maybe we're to the point where like we're gonna get so much gold if we get to Act Five. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, I mean, if if we're worried about Agile, then we just shouldn't turn it on, right? Because we just spent like I don't know, 30k in the shop, so it would at least be 30k to do this again if Agile kills us, and it only saves us 38k. Uh, that at least justifies it for me. We'll try this. Dump the rest of this money. Uh, I think we've done everything else. What's our uh, white items looking like? Because we could attune one of them. Mm. So I put it up to 0.4 mana regen. And then my chapel would double it. It's not the worst. <laughs> Get every little bit of uh, extra out of here. Yeah, why not? Get every little bit of juice we can. All right, uh, right. Let's turn it down to six. Make sure six is correct. Let's look at our resist. 
Minus 54 and minus 38. So, should be alright. Try to increase my sorcerer gameplay a little bit. See if I can manage the uh, buffs from the little shield a little better. I usually don't pay attention to them too much. But I think there could be cases where when you're already in combo, you don't spam your primary because it puts the dot on you and that uh, ruins your little shield. So in a way, if you're in combo, you could just spam something else to gain the uh, defensive stacks. I'm not sure if that's going to really work out in practice, but it's something we should try to do. Crazy Eye. Sure got some buffs too, so it should uh, be a little easier than it normally would be. I think your chance of freezing is like super high now. I'll check it out in a second. Uh, where is it? Yeah, the freeze chance is up to 7.5% chance to freeze. It was like 5%, I believe. And I think the bounces got smarter. And we got this additional damage is increased by 10% per bounce on our frost shard. So we should just have more damage all around. Playing too many uh, last stand characters. This character feels so fast right now. Alright, what else we got? Oh, also, shops are guaranteed now. Huge buff. Don't have to worry about uh, losing to the shops anymore. I think my biggest fears are probably going to be the Act 1 boss, Stone Guardian, and probably the Watcher. It depends if we can tank the Watcher by the time we get there or not. So I'm not to the uh, point where I'm confident hiding him at this point. Specifically the uh, the ad phases. Alright, so there's our shop. Probably need to collect a good bit of money. I've only been forced to try the kiting method once, and it was on the Warlock, and uh, it didn't work out well. So we'll see if we can redeem ourselves, if that's even going to be an issue. Alright, what do we want? We can get two brochures for 5% damage. Not really worried about constructs though. We don't have a, a way to get more potion charges, so we definitely want the apothecary herbs. We may just go for crit. We'll have to come back for with more money to buy something else. Probably get the aberrations. That'll help us in the Act 4 fight and just in Act 4 in general. So let's get 600 gold. 660 I believe actually All right, we got a secret over there. Let's make sure we don't forget that Monolith That'll be nice. Just save it till the very end of the level Try to bring it all the way to the boss We don't need to kill all this stuff, but Kind of just Walked into it already, so you gotta commit. Alright, uh, we have enough gold. Let's go ahead and buy our item. Since these items are really bad, don't wanna go see what that item is in the wall. Because potentially it could just be that same item. It would be really sad because we have to buy something 
really bad from the shot. Mm, looks like I'm tanky enough to tank at least some of this. At least Act 1, where there's like no range units. Kind of try it out, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like we're tanking enough currently, at least. We get our mana back. More mana to spend. More HP. Need to go back up to that wall before I forget. Alright, Monster Pamphlet Beast. We could have all the pamphlets if we wanted. We uh, passed up the. What was it? The constructs? Alright. Oh, right. We have exception, exceptional consumables, so. We should have saved that apple for the end, so we could have more health going into the next floor, but that's alright. Have an apple spell book, it's pretty good. We don't have it attuned yet, uh, that's okay. So, grab our apple, grab our monolith, gold fever. That's a little unfortunate. New monolith, uh, clouds the pool of good monolith buffs. It is extra gold, but we've been leveling up the thief to get around that. Don't really need this. Also, there's no rush to get to the boss now. I guess this will be like a more realistic boss fight. Since we won't have like a damage buff or a defensive buff. Or regen buff. Or infinite mana. Anything else would have been really good. <laughs> but we got this one. I would even argue that XP would have been really good. Just to get some of these levels done now. But again, it's not really a big deal. It's a very early monolith. Get rid of the bad luck now. Get something good before dragon. Set the two piece Arcania. Five more resist. Ooh, another monolith. Okay. Maybe we spoke too soon. Maybe it won't be a realistic fight at all. Let's go and grab it now, see what it is. Incredible strength. Yeah. Alright, so it won't be quite realistic. We'll still have to do the mechanics, because it's a high enough NG that we can't just roll over them. Diamond? You for real? Alright. Um, mm. Stream Streamlabs is saying I've dropped 8 frames. I don't know if that's accurate, but if anybody can actually tell, let me know. We tried to adjust it so we could stream in 1080p, but it's probably not a big deal for a game like this. We can lower it back down if needed. to first boss, get in position, wait for our health, play it safe, alright, alright, let's 
go ahead and precast our orb. First line attack is always the uh, second one. Oh, that one just completely avoided me. All right, we got bats, so we don't have to rush them. Didn't realize he was so low. <laughs> I was just going for strategy. Ideally, all you're doing is avoiding the line attacks, waiting for bats so you can leech. Then after that, you can take it as slow as you want. You do have a finite amount of time until he breaks all these rocks, but you still have the pillars. All right. So what did we get? We got Assassin's Dagger and Cloak of Many Pockets. So we got kind of robbed on those items. Too aggressive. Seems like it's going okay. Let's check up top before we go too far away. Alright, so there's nothing we need to come back for. Even if we open up that, it's just cheese. Alright, uh, we come back for that money if we want. surprised at how tanky I am. I expect it to be a little squishier. I haven't been able to like really sync up my shield with my skills very well. There's just really no way to get around the burning. I think there's a little bit I could do, but it's gonna involve more like Procking combo by getting hit and not using primary to keep the shield up. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this stuff before we get too far away. I think we can clear the rest of the floor with this monolith. Should have plenty of gold from this other monolith. Journeyman's Gloves, all right. Increase our base health a little bit. Since we're using exceptional, exceptional consumables, we should be going out of our way for mana, just so we can spam cast even more. It'll uh, help us do the run a little faster. Quite that tanky, so need to calm down with that. Big group of range units. Lots of money, a couple chests. Alright, so we got one chest to come back for. Alright, see a secret. Hey, you die. Look like a pretty nice red color. Hey, our first level. And another chest. I thought that was going to be a plunger. I have notoriously bad luck with getting anything good from the plunger. Alright, let's grab our other chest. How's our resist doing? Hasn't moved like any. I think we got plus five resist so far. Let's 
Um, I know shops are guaranteed, but I don't know if they're guaranteed on any specific floor. I think they're just, they can't be on floor one. So the days of trying to, I don't know, or having to worry about hoarding money or something from one floor to the next. There's like weird situations that could happen where you get a shop on floor, act, let's see, floor three of act one, and you have a shop on floor one of act two, and you wouldn't have enough money to buy all the items you needed. So it's nice that the shops are more spread out now. Seems like a small change, but it actually makes a big impact. Don't need as many thief levels. <laughs> Even though thief is really nice right now. that pull. Look like there's more range guys than there actually were. Alright, can we do this and actually get an item from it today? Let's see. Alright, go for one. Hey, alright, um, down, left, or across, hey, alright, uh, excellent, we guessed correctly, got rewarded with a worthless item, uh, alright, I think we've almost gotten all the worthless items out of the game, oh no, we don't have the XP gain yet, We avoided having to buy it. <clears throat> it's a lot of archers, a little afraid of all those arrows. What we got? Enchanted Dirk? Why not? I'm only afraid of multiple archers, actually. Just a couple is not a big deal. I'm trying to make the way to the shop as fast as possible. Would ideally like as many items as fast as possible. It's kind of the name of the game, I guess. Slowly making progress that way. I need to start using uh, just my left click attack against melee guys to try to conserve more mana against the range units. Alright, we can shop in peace. Oh, it pauses the game anyway, so we could have just avoided that. Uh, Undead's looking good, Circlet's looking good, Gladiator's Nut's looking good. I don't care about 5% for 5 health. I don't care about moving faster, so. Let's get some damage. Let's get some more damage. And let's disarm some stuff. That's that's definitely our best approach. Uh, where are we gonna go? I can't tell what's up here, so we're going up here. Uh, the lightning round. We'll try it. Predicted the wrong way. Uh, ah, zigged when I should have zagged. Got an apothecary item though. Arguably the best one. This item can carry us later. It's a dragon fight, it's really good. So, definitely a fan of that. Two bombs. It's a bit rude. Uh, 
Are we even looking for the button at this point? Yeah, okay. We definitely need the button. So where is it? Uh, did streamer version get a patch today? Uh, I don't think so. If you have something that you know that changed, I have my stuff automatic, like automatically update, so I didn't notice anything. If there's something I can easily check, then I can check and make sure. They fixed your imp stuff. All right, I'll test it if we find one. And change some item names and effects. Oh man, I'm excited. I suggested a couple changes, so we'll see if any of that pans out. Also drink effect changes. Ooh. Well, I can actually check the drink effect changes. Let's see real quick. <clears throat> see if we got anything new. All right. Um, kinetic kiss is the same. Spilled blood is the same. Stumble in the darkness is the same. Uh, overflowing physique is the same. Enchanted Slammer is the same. Yeah, it still reads incorrectly. 10 physical damage add to primary attack. Should be added. Okay, so yeah. So just the beta. Alright. Uh... What are we doing over here? Let's go get our other chest. Is that mana ring? Health ring. Health ring. Boo! I want my point four mana. Or double point eight mana. See, it's just the beta yet then for you documentation. Wait, are you telling me for documentation or what do you mean there? Just not something I'm supposed to know. <clears throat> hey, there's the ring. Oh, I tuned it. Even better. So that's 1.6 mana regen. Bringing us to. 15.44 after taking the drinks that reduce it. Alright, this guy. You didn't get that big old message? Um... Are you talking about in Discord? I got the one in the stream chat for uh, like the little patch notes. Is there anything else? Let's see. The last thing, the thing I'm talking about, was sent September seventh by Myron at two thirteen p.m. All right. get that big old message. Nope, I guess not.
Stiletto and full plate mail. That's nice. Uh, I posted it in your Discord. I think they're going to make us test it first before stream updates. Oh yeah, I've never seen this. Okay, so I'll read that a little later. I uh, assume that's not public knowledge yet. Let's see, sugar pips. I can't wait for the update. Maybe my friends will finally be willing to play some more again. Yeah, did, did your friends have like an issue with something? Or is it just, they got kind of stagnated? I think they're supposed to fix like a lot of the group play issues. And then they're also making group play easier, the mob scaling. Oh, just boring to be the same every time. Well, maybe some of the items and stuff like that will make it a little more interesting. So it'll keep their attention longer. I thought about doing some viewer runs at some point, but haven't quite gotten to that. That'd probably be like a weekend thing. Let's see, new items and stuff will make it fun again. New boss and such. Yeah. It, it's been a lot of fun actually. You kind of get like a free NG level for all your characters too, which is kind of nice. And just anytime like games add more content, or yeah, like devs add more content to a game, it makes the game a lot more interesting. You just have more options. Um, hopefully more build diversity and all that kind of stuff. Keep it fresh. So it won't feel as much like you need this one item or you're not going to be able to beat it or like you have to only have this one item, this specific role in the shop or you can't play, you know, stuff like that. Maybe there'll be several different ways you can play. That'd be kind of nice. Alright. Tricksters. Always worried about this one. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> gets combo when I run out of mana. Alright. <sighs> Come on, ghost. Don't be like this. There we go. Alright, got the mages down. So we just need to go ahead and finish off that statue before uh, we get a great threat. There we go. Perfect. Alright, can we see anything else on the map? Something up there. <laughs> I can only see it when I'm wiggling the mouse. Or never mind. This has to be a certain angle. That's weird. Uh, I wonder what that is. That's maybe our second statue. Yep. It is exactly our second statue. We need some mana. Take a little bit of damage to get some mana, but I don't want to get make it a habit right now. All right, we got a wall secret.
Hey, there's some mana. Let's grab our secret curios. Always getting combo when we're running out of mana. <laughs> I guess I should be more patient on it. But I was afraid of my health getting too low. such a way, like right here, we're kind of trapped in between the two. I think we get more bounces when we do it like that. So that's had one more to go, but I it's, it made the sound of a great threat. So I feel like a great threat is coming. But it was at the exact same time as the one more to go. Yeah, okay, so a great threat is coming. gonna work out well for me. There we go. Alright, so they came from somewhere over here. So we want to start heading that way. I want our silver key though. We're standing between the spawner and the wall. We get crazy good bounces. Something slowed me down. It's not what I'm about. Oh, I was just out of combo, I think. So it felt slower. I'm usually always in combo. All right, I see a mana orb I need to grab. I just don't want to mess too much with that red hat guy. There we go. That's a good shatter. Our statue yet? There's a lot of redhead guys on this one. For a secret, nothing's over there. All right, that's enough of that. All right, I see some mana, but I can't go get it yet. I would like to. All right, it's mana time. Stay in combo. Try to. <laughs> Perfect. I've been liking using the exceptional consumables. I think once my NG gets higher, the manner is the manner regeneration won't be as big of an issue, and I'll be able to not have to use it. But currently, it feels really nice to use. We have to pay extra in the fountain, but that's alright. Also makes the uh, the run go so much faster. Oh, that was only floor one. All right. Uh, um. Just want to gain health before I start killing ghosts. I 
another silver key. Alright, I just want to make sure I have enough mana to deal with uh, this archer. We'll come back in a second. I want to make sure I have enough health too. Ideally, I just want to take him out like instantly. Alright, there's some mana. I thought that was our shot for a second. I was excited. I want some more items. All right. Let's pick up gold just in case we need to. We probably don't need to. Oh, necromancer. Out of here. Alright. He's about all our mana, but we're pretty much safe now. Two statues down. get an item or a drink that gives me mana leech. That'd be way too, way too busted. Alright, um... That's a lot of dudes. That redhead guy is just really annoying right there. Necromancer. Uh. Trying to see how much we can pull besides the Necromancer. All right, that's the second level. Those are down. Alright, that's good. Is that going to be our shop up there? Oh, it is. Nice. Uh, let's get the extra item first. Two extra items. Blackjack. Just grab some mana. Alright, so our other statue is like over here somewhere. That's what it looked like. Greaves of the Barbarian. I'm trying to avoid that item. Alright, what we got? 
Scarab of Protection, Mage Robe, Seal of Souls. Ooh, Seal of Souls is new. I'm definitely gonna buy probably both of these. Let's buy all three of these actually. That'll give her a four piece. Yeah, I like that. Let's see if we notice the difference in damage. So this means now that let's see. We only get 0.5 damage for each percent mana we're missing. But it's pretty easy for us to say at 0% mana. We're using Wicked Sickness, so when we have 0% mana, it'll be like how we normally would be without Wicked Sickness. And for in combo, we'll have an extra 50% damage. So that'd be nice. And if it's really well, we'll attune it. We'll attune it eventually anyway, but maybe it'll get a, a higher priority. So the 20% reduced mana cost is uh, very nice for us. All right, so that's all for this floor. Let's see if we have anything else, like uh, any more traps or secrets. Aha, another free item. Actually not a big fan of this trap. Try to build up our shield sex. All right, whatever. Didn't have to use a potion. At least there's that. Little monolith. Okay. Potential. Now that's nice. We can get out of here. Alright. I wonder if we can like speed through the next floor and uh, use this on the boss at all. May not have that kind of time. But we're going to try it. like enough time to cast everything we want to cast. There's Halberd, I don't help this. Where's the last one? There it is. Alright, 
sequence completed. Anything else we need? Check for secrets real quick. Additional traps and whatnot. Old map. Old map's kind of useful right here. Where's the exit? The other side. Checking to see if any of those leads dropped any items. Nope. Alright. So we got like a quarter left of this. Let's see if it's going to be a blessing or a curse. Clicking. I'm sure that was a little annoying. But the monolith is done. We have to actually play the game again. Oof. These guys are savage. may have a little bit too much uh, confidence now after that. I'm just going to watch out for these orbs. Those projectiles are going to be crazy for us right now. King's Regalia. Wait, which one is that, actually? Sword of Kings. I thought it was Sword of Kings. But I somehow read King's Regalia instead of the title. The set title. Okay. Nice portal. Uh, what else we got? Portal. Fountain, but nothing to do. Monolith, book, two books. Let's go up and get this book. Try to keep a keen eye for uh, any secrets. I'm gonna be very focused on not dying to these projectiles. It'd be easy to uh, miss a button or something. that one. Alright, too dark. The extra UI for the uh, the books are super nice. Oh, that's a uh, Level number three. I lost count somehow. All right. Um, I wonder if leveling is even like an issue anymore. Like when characters that actually kill everything. Because I'm sure um, we'll be fine with the extra. It's basically only one extra floor, right? Since Chambers lost the floor as well. Alright, there's our exit. Uh, we have two portals left. I'm gonna grab the monolith. We got protective powers. Room one monoliths, there's like no way we can really bring them to the boss. 
Uh, Alright, yeah, one portal left. There's some mana. Alright, a crack in the wall. Some more mana. Markham's amulet. Alright. So afraid of those orbs. I just want to jump in the portal. I guess it is possible we could carry some of this monolith buff to the boss. Because 50 50 chance that blood is our first one. And if it is, then uh, it would actually be a benefit to have this. Hey, boots of freedom. A new item. So we don't have to worry about uh, really any slows, but also don't have to worry about pushback from the dragon. Wind. All right, let's continue on. Are we in the positives? At least for armor. Alright, we grab ghost. Alright, we have the exit. Let's see what we actually need in this map. Uh, silver chest, there's going to be a glass walk, portal, portal, confusion, shop, book. Okay. Um, hopefully we don't have to collect too much money for the shop. Alright, the orange orbs. I need to watch out for those a little more carefully. Alright. I uh, kind of want to go ahead and knock out this confusion trap. Keep casting. Can't really die as long as there's something to leech off of. Alright, never mind. We're going to the shop first. It's a new setup. Uh, definitely want Markham's. Could get the Journeyman's. Kind of want the Flame Walker, actually. So, definitely getting Markham's. We get Flame Walkers. Uh, Reinforced Gloves. I actually like reinforced gloves. Let's go with that. I feel like between the freezing and then gloves awarding, reinforced gloves, we'll get some pretty good like damage prevention bonuses. At worst, we're testing out a new item. Not that we're ever really going to be able to see when it's active and when it's not, but one is like pretty much eight magic damage reduction every second and the other one is 10 physical damage reduction every second and when we attune it it'll be double that seems pretty good I mean I guess as our health gets higher and higher the higher NGs we go it gets worse and worse but
currently. We should be in like, hopefully the sweet spot still. I mean, I assume if I was on NG0, it would be a lot more beneficial, because if you have like 150 health, getting, blocking 50 damage is insane. But it's not going to scale very well into the late, late game. Alright, so blood is first. We're about halfway done. Uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. I don't know how much of a priority it really should be. Because, uh... There's no reason to, like, try to go fast and die. So... Let's wait on the next one. Ah, we didn't make it anyway. Ugh. get away from that before we make a misstep and we're dead. Alright. That's a lot of green green orbs. That's a lot of projectiles. Not today, guys. Not today. Ooh, magic pen. I think it's attuned, but it's still like half effectiveness because all our damage is hybrid. It's kind of the uh, short end of the stick for the sorcerer in a way. You can scale off all of the items, but you get half benefit from like all of them. I think it's still better than like the warlock's case where you can't scale off of the physical penetration items at all. Unless you get another item or use a drink that gives you physical damage on your primary. Can we navigate through all these orbs? Looks like not really. <laughs> Just have to kite back a little bit. Grab some mana. If I can get the bulk of those, then we'll be able to get out of here. Oh, that's going to be the real test. I don't have any mana either. Alright, there's some mana. Alright, so that's coming. Uh, what else do we need to get? One portal. And that's it. So, kill the great threat, cry the portal. And we'll be ready to fight the blood phase. I assume I'll still need a good amount of gold for the Act 5, uh, whatever, shop. So we're going to pick up, do some drive-by gold pickup. Stuttered stuff for a second there. Alright, so these are the guys that were part of the Great Threat, but got stuck. Okay, good to know. Uh, we're being a little greedy, going out of our way to pick up money. We want to use this buff on the, uh, the whatever, the blood phase. Oh, it's the other way. Alright. Blood phase, here we come. Wait. Oh, it wasn't even on the right floor. Okay. So I have another floor to do. So yeah, there's no way we can make it to the blood phase then. Uh, do we have a monolith on this floor? We do, okay. So, there's still some hope. We can get something useful. I was like totally just... Wow, I've already seen two secrets. Uh, I was totally on the wrong page with all that. Alright. Like, the choke point is nice, but it's also a little scary. I feel like if we have mana we can't die. Frying pan, that's a that's a pretty big pickup. If we can remember to use it, it's gonna be very nice. Um, I don't really need to go in here, but we will. So there's our exit. Grab the book for the kicks, gold key. 
Money, money, money. We're about to get our next level. Uh, Bloodthirst Ring. Alright, there's the Imp. We could still test it, but I'm sure it's still broken. Alright, can we survive this little part? Also, we gotta figure out where he's at. Oh, there he is. What do we want from the amp? Keys? Keys. Oh. Uh, he was stingy, he didn't give us the ace key today. Alright. Uh, did we already get both of the secrets? No, there's the other one. Alright, let's grab it. I remember grabbing the gold chest, but that was over there. Alright, um, let's start jumping through portals. Excellent. King's Regalia. How many pieces is that? Two? Two. It's a nice pickup though. Plus 80 skill power. We only had 101. 80% increase in damage. Trap thing. I don't really want to do this legit. Let's just do that. Our orb gave us enough leech where we can just walk through it. Is there anything down here? There's a portal. That just brings it right back up. All right, is that everything? Let's check it out. Uh, one portal, one monolith. Silver key, if we feel like it. It's probably worth actually picking up the silver key. We've been using a lot more keys with the battlement stuff. It's harder to uh, have enough keys with only 20. Almost ran out the other way. Greater insight. Alright, so we'll finish off this last level pretty soon. Now that should be everything. We just grabbed the monolith. Yeah. I'm actually worried about this boss, so maybe I should farm out the rest of this level. Extra base health couldn't hurt. We are willing to use some potions on it if we can uh, react fast enough. It still may not save us. But I feel like we can do it. I'm just always unsure about this boss and casters. I think we have enough XP in this level to finish. We at least have five potions and we have the Apothecary, Mortar and Pestle. Just collect gold, I guess, as well. Give me the mana. Um, that's pretty much 100% cleared. We need to go get our... Uh... Oh right, that's going to keep happening. Okay, uh, this corridor looks pretty good. Come on, a little further. Or not. We can stay over there then. Uh, where's our silver key? I don't think we've missed any buttons. So this should be just about everything there is.
Alright, so first phase is blood phase. Scariest phase. We can perma freeze pretty much as long as we can get our aiming correct. We'll also get a level like on the first or second phase, I believe. Just waiting for uh, for our health at this point. All right, that should be good enough. It's basically all our health. Yeah, that should be good enough. There we go. Looks like we can tank the boss. Ooh, that ignite hurts. Should have backed out a little sooner. It's really not that much magic damage. I feel like sometimes it's just really spiky. We may have just stayed in too long. We didn't notice his health wasn't dropping anymore, so we couldn't leech. So we probably stayed too long. spam it more. Maybe it's because I'm constantly getting confused. Something feels weird with it. Alright. We survived the hardest phase. So, unless we die to the boss, because we were taking some pretty good damage there. Come on. There's combo. Alright. Okay. So we should be good. Uh, that is darkest too. May get a level off of this one. Alright, lead with the orb. We'll just make sure we keep an orb out there, but we want to save one for the great threat as well. If enemies start pulling against us, we'll uh, try to freeze them. Alright, so we have a great threat coming from the bottom. We got him frozen, and he's dead. Alright. So we're able to control these guys pretty well. I get hit by a couple of them, but it's it's nothing crazy. Alright, so we're gonna level off the next ritual phase. Alright. Frost orb. Or comet, whatever this thing is called. Uh all right, three is transformation. So I guess my next fear will be fear of the unknown, will be the vampire boss. He's got some nasty bleeds, so as long as we're able to deal with that. All right, there's our level. Killed him before he even rounded the corner. I wonder if that could be a strategy where all you do is comment for the uh, those phases. That was a quick phase. to sustain the mana doing that. So I'm trying to think of how we'll have to do this at like higher NGs. Like if we're doing NG20 and trying to do this, 
Like, how is the strategy going to change? It feels like nothing would be able to hit you. Or you would die. Could at least kill the guy like that. Maybe the little guys can hit you a little bit. I don't know. Depends how well you can scale into into that. There we go. You have higher mana regen. Yeah, it, it's hard to think about like how the scale will work because you'll have lower armor and resist, but you'll have higher mana regen. But at the same time, you'll have more HP, but less. I don't know. I feel like you'll have to CC them most of the time, but I don't know that for certain. Because the Paladin still plays exactly the same way. And you can go crit build. I, I am the crit build. <clears throat> or at least part of it. Yeah, I'm, I guess uh, you could not take the increased mana regen and you could go the magic penetration with blessings. Um, let's see, I am damage, mana regen, reduced cost. I don't know if you can sustain uh, going full right side, but I could maybe sub out the mana regen for the magic penetration. Yeah, I don't know either. It's just kind of interesting to think about for now. I don't know if I need um, gold, but we'll, we'll we'll take some gold. All right, we have a monolith. We have hella gold. I'm just worried about these mages. I guess I should be worried about the charge guys too. They could probably mess me up pretty quick. Okay. I don't know how much gold I need. Maybe a little less than 100k or something. Just to make like completely certain. It's on the next floor. So we at least have a whole another floor to get gold. But I guess the more we can get now, the better. Um, we're actually going to save this monolith till the end. Because we can probably keep it for the vampire boss. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I'm worried about right there. We have to like precast something. And like not get hit, wait for our leech. So we're stumbling in the dark. I wonder if people are gonna meme the stumble in the dark like they meme a uh, map proposal. It's like, oh, what drink should I take? Oh, map proposal, stumble in the dark, uh, kinetic kiss. Perfect build. Okay, nice meme, everyone. So may just need to back up. I ain't messing with you guys. Oh, mana. They're trying to bait me in. Alright. Didn't work. They wanted me to go in and get one shot. Oh god. Oh god. Wasn't expecting the bad attack right then. Well played, sir. Well played. Can you die, though? Mm -hmm. 
Alright, there we go. Whew. Stressful. Going blind when you're in like not a good spot and then kiting the wrong way. Is that what you want to be doing? Uh, you might be getting a little F FPS lag, but it seems okay now. Uh, let's see, it says I've dropped 42 frames over the last hour and a half, and the most recent one was a minute ago. So yeah, we'll have to adjust some of the settings back down, or maybe overclock a little bit. Like, I don't really know if y'all are going to be able to tell between like 720p and 1080p on uh, this game. I'm also doing 60 FPS. I could probably go down to 30 and you wouldn't be able to tell. You would only be, be able to tell in like my picture. Which I should be mostly still, so I don't know. So we'll reduce that for next stream, but thanks for uh, letting me know. I wasn't sure. Because like, 43 frames doesn't seem a lot when you're doing 60 frames a second. Like, can anybody notice that? But I guess you can. Maybe it doesn't work how I think it works. It's not really my expertise. We have enough spawners over here. The answer is yes, we have enough. Too many. Uh, of course we pulled like a whole another group. Oh, we have shield breaker and mage bane? No wait, we don't have mage bane, do we? We have shield breaker. I guess they're kind of equal with this build, since all our damage is hybrid. Uh, yeah, we only have shield breaker. I just thought it was mage bane for some reason. But, I mean, they're equal, so. Uh, another piece of tricksters, two piece. We have the two hard pieces to get, but not the easy pieces. Yeah. I don't know if we're really gonna see many more white items by the end of the game. All right, uh, that's a little scary. Mana, just throw that. Wait, that wasn't... Oh, I didn't pick it up. It's like... I thought that definitely was mana. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's a struggle not to pick up the mana. Exactly when I see it. It'd be more useful if I let the mana go down. I actually do more damage with my mana low. That's right. Alright, let's go back up to full. Work our way back down again. We haven't had a great threats yet, but I assume it's coming. Even more mana. Alright, come on. Spike boots. I think they said they fixed this item, so that's nice. Not that I'm gonna be running into any monsters right now, but. It's more damage than I had. That's all I get. I guess I was outside of combo. 
I don't think there's the leech range. Monster manual beast. That brings us to three manuals. All right. What do we got over here? Silver key. Money. Silver key and money. Maybe I need to start thinking about buying more silver keys, like 25. Because so far, Battlements is just like a loot pinata. Research aspects. We've defeated the vampire guy and he disappeared. Because I've had instances where I run up and grab the little band aid looking thing. Oh, this is probably for the best. I grab the band aid looking thing and then he disappears and I have to fight the mages. I would rather fight the mages. So if I can make that happen, that would be ideal. So I'm going to try to run up and grab the band aid. All right, let's see. Okay, he was gone. So maybe that's because I've already defeated him. And these guys spawned pretty much instantly. So we'll do the same thing for the next one if we can. Defeat him before we get here. And maybe we'll have the four mages instead of fighting him. I haven't been able to figure out the rhyme or reason to that. But hopefully it's what I just said. A uh, gold chest, shop, monolith. Oh, we didn't go back and get the other monolith. Oh well. Oh, double ace key. Alright. So, we're probably getting two legendaries this round. Maybe we can get the immune to dying combo legendary. That would be ideal. The real legendary. Come on. Uh, I was hoping for an ace chest. There's been so many times where those kind of cracks are ace chests. Alright, we're gonna have like no health by the time we get to where uh, that gold chest is. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and do it now. Arkham's Mace. So that brings us to our three piece. We somehow avoided all those fire arrows. Let's grab some food. Are ace keys more common? It feels like it. I don't want to say yes, but it feels like it. Um, I usually find at least one in Act Five in the Battlements side of Act Five. And I've seen like a couple of ace chests in there before. Alright, so let me make sure that's our three piece. Yes, okay. What does that bring us up to? 38 and minus 9. So what do you want? We could get the wand, we get the satchel, we get some healing, the Duke's signet ring, Stormcaller. Oh, we can get both of the apothecary sets which will give us combo on demand that's probably worth doing and the potions are more effective maybe it's just a crutch and we don't actually need it but I'm not convinced I need Duke's signet ring or storm caller 10% chance to release lightning with your primary attack I'm not really worried about my primary attack we definitely want the skill power let's be real I kinda want combo on demand uh, why not? We can actually use potions now and get mana. I was thinking also combo and demand will go really well if we do get the uh, legendary that gives us, uh, what's it called? Immunity to dying. So we can just, like we'll go against the dragon and we can just potion all the time to stay immune to damage. Like, it seems OP. Q. 
here I can use a potion. I guess I'll only use it if I have max charges. And there's no mana things around. Alright, so we gotta remember to get the monolith. Oh, another ace key. Jeez. Three ace keys. Let's get legendary. So now it's gonna be the issue in actually finding enough ace chest. Like there'll be one before dragon. There'll probably be one somewhere in battlements. Alright. I don't want to use a potion yet. I mean, I guess that means I can use all my potions to get the vampire boss if I need to. If I'm like uncomfortable at all, I can just, oh, get another piece of tricksters. Now we just need to get that one more piece. I don't know how we're gonna get another like white common item. It's like really difficult to get common items in Act 5. I guess the elites are our best chance. Probably don't even need to farm these guys out. Kind of just having fun with this character at this point. I think we're strong enough to beat the dragon right now. Alright, we still got the Earth Caller. Which, I mean, to be fair, this is normally where we're at when we're getting ready to go to the dragon. We're planning out our monoliths, we just got our shop. We're gonna kill the four mages, and you're gonna rush through the next. Uh, level and then you're ready to kill the dragon. So we still have this floor and two more floors to get even stronger before the dragon. Hopefully find Amulet of Vengeance. Or not Amulet of Vengeance, Amulet of Kings. Alright, okay, we can use a potion there. I'm like still worried about magic damage, even though it's probably like not justified at this point. Always respect the magic damage. There's King's Regalia. So that's a uh, three piece King's. So now we definitely respect the magic damage. We don't have to respect the uh, physical damage as much. Alright, uh... Let's mess this guy up. Nice, got him. Use a potion. Oh, these potions don't really give us any mana. So, maybe my evaluation of the Apothecary set will diminish here shortly. to the point where it's not going to do anything anymore except for the mortar and pestle and we haven't we've yet to actually need to potion in like the last three or four runs we've done which is kind of where we want to be at because if we can get the free fountain favor That'd be great. We're just gonna kill all the elites at this point. They've been rewarding us. May hook us up with the last piece of the trickster set. Uh, no, but there's an item. Alright, we've got a secret. Elven bow, sure. So we're almost to the battlements. Let's see some mana. Oh, 
don't know why I'm picking up gold anymore. It doesn't really matter. Just kind of a habit from the earlier X. Alright, um... Should be good. I think we've... We haven't had a, uh... Great threat on this level yet. So I was thinking by the time we go back for the monolith, that's probably gonna be great threat time. We'll need that HP to heal up. Alright, so there's our two more ace keys. I almost uh, started with an ace key. It would have for sure been wasted. Well, it's possible it's still going to get wasted, but hopefully not. Alright, um... Probably just going to potion. Yeah, it's not even worth risking it. We'll get a potion back easily. We slaughtered that, like two of those mages. Just gonna kind of kite to the uh, the monolith. Ooh, some cheese. Looks like we should just be following that one wall. All right, so there we go. Let's grab that gold fever, of course. How many different monoliths are there now? There's Gold Fever, there's uh, XP, the Defender, more damage, infinite mana. That's five. Is there another one? Oh, Health Regen, so there's six. Uh, is there any more than that? So two out of the six are just duds. And that's more or less what we've hit most of this run. We fit gold twice and XP once, and then we got defender once and damage once. So we've almost gotten them all. We just haven't gotten. Uh, oh, we got infinite mana too. Okay, never mind. I'll take it back. All right. I think he always starts at the top, so I'm gonna do the top one last. But I'm away from my health. Oh, we got our potion charge back. That was quick. So, oh, well, there's a lot of bats. So, I guess it wasn't too surprising. Because, yeah, I think he always spawns at the top. So, we'll be able to do the most damage if we stand up here. And if we stay on the cross, then we can use it to become immune. So, I think it's a really good place to start. <laughs> and he doesn't start up here. Okay. Maybe it's better to do the bouncy ball strategy. Yeah, bouncy ball strategy seems pretty good. Alright, let's at least become immune for that one. Oh, we can still damage him. Potion. Sure, sure. Whenever you're ready to stop that, that'd be great. Just become immune. It's like a minute cooldown, I believe. If you would, yeah, there you go. Oh, I still take the damage. Look, like I took a little bit of damage. All right. Oh, so I didn't get. I got Stormcaller before, now I got Earth Splitter and Frostbrand. So we're already at 77 items, and we haven't gotten to the dragon yet. So we're going to be pushing like maybe 85 items, which is insane for the dragon. Alright, another ace key, so that's four, so we're not going to be able to open these ace chests, if we even get an ace chest, so we don't have one on this floor. Alright, whatever. Gargoyles. No gargoyles. All right. Not sure what the damage levels are going to be on this. All right, there's a gargoyle. Uh, 
They're pretty tanky. But the damage doesn't matter. I mean, I guess it's worth picking up gold. Let's see, if you ask Poop, he says noting in Act 6 hits are as hard as Spearman in Act 5. Spearman in Act 5. Okay. So damage is a little low. Yeah, I don't feel like I have to respect these enemies, to be honest. Like, I can probably just ignore them and just run for chest, even as the mage. Oh, we have glass walks. Doesn't go anywhere that I care about. Literally can't go anywhere I care about. Alright. It is a little unfortunate for the sorcerer that, uh, I don't bounce off any of these walls. even left for me to get. We can get we can get so many diamonds or we can just continue on. We may just get the diamonds. Help fund uh, more runs. Like there's just gonna be a loot pinata. Uh was that a bug that day or not? Um that was a bug, the skywalking. It wasn't supposed to let you out of the platform. I don't know if the glass walks were messed up, because I feel like there should have been glass walks on that level. But uh, definitely the uh, skywalking was a bug. Which I guess the bug is still there. Because I haven't been patched yet. But I did report it, so it should be fixed before they actually release it. It might be fixed on the new beta version already. These monsters do no damage. Yeah, it was really funny. I feel like I should be able to go to the other side. Oh, maybe it's just... Okay, all this is connected, yeah. I see it now. Course. Have you got the A combo set? No, I haven't. I've only gotten up to seven. <laughs> I think I'm at six right now. Yeah, so if I get um, the legendary one, I'll still be at seven again. From. Are they part of the great threat? I thought it was just the ice elementals. If you do, you should make a clip to show off. <laughs> when I do, it's gonna happen. It just might be like a year from now. I feel like I should show off these four ace keys and nothing to do with them. Well, I at least said there's. I at least know there's gonna be one chest that I can open. Jeez, we gained like 100,000 gold from that level. All right, do we have an ace chest? We have a monolith? Wait, all right, so that's the side we can actually get to. This is the other side, gold chest. 
So neither side had a uh, an ace chest. It looks like. Protective powers. All right. So this is definitely my game to lose. I am interested in how much the tax rate will be on uh, this much gold. Because it's supposed to be reduced. And I've only ever tested it with like 30k and under. I'm sure the tax rate won't stay that good. When I was at 30k and under, it was taxing like 10% uh, less than it should. So like it was reading out that it should be taxing 30% and it was taxing around 20%. So we'll see if that holds true. Or if it's like... I don't know if it's going to get better or worse. It may be like 5% reduced or something since I have so much. This amount of gold will definitely fund my fountain. I've already deposited like uh, 500,000 to the fountain just from having extra gold from doing regular runs. So is that our fourth piece? Four piece sturdy belt. Three piece sturdy belt. All right, never mind. Oh, right, there was a time where we could have bought another piece, but we didn't Crimson Death. We're out of this. I don't want to use a potion. I want to have it just in case I need it. Oh, and there's always a drop before the dragon. But I'm going to be greedy. We got so much gold because we have the uh, the gold monolith. That's what it is. All right, let's see what legendary we got. Hey, look at that! So we made it to seven piece again, and we can be immortal for. Let's see. If we hit a potion. We go into combo, right? Uh, yeah, we go into combo, wherever it is. Combo's increased by one. Uh, yeah, so we go into combo. It's increased by one second. Don't know how long combo lasts when you use a potion. I was thinking it was five seconds before. So this means we go in combo, we have six seconds of being immune, and we can activate that five times. So we should have 30 seconds of being immune, which is just ridiculous. I mean, you're technically not immune, right? Because you still take the damage, you just can't die from the damage. So you can go down to one health, and then you can fall out of combo, and then you can die. We tested it the other day. But if we just stay in combo... Oh, how many items do we have? 82 items. Alright, we're in combo. Can't die. Using the wrong skill. Should be using Comet. See, that's the thing. I don't even need to use that cheesy strat. Like, I'm gonna like chill, but combo, 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 easy. Couldn't die if we wanted to. Alright, let's see. Stats, 41.3 million damage, 16 physical, 25 magical. Uh, why do we have so much more magical this time? Our items are gone. 
I think we had, uh, I guess, more magical penetration items. Or maybe something to do with incendiary demise. Hmm. Oh, well, doesn't really matter. Cool. So that is the Sorcerer NG plus uh, six. Let's see, we want to attune. Uh, we haven't done our duelist edge, we've done the rest of them. We haven't done any Markham's yet. Markham's amulet is probably a good one to do. It's a lot of health. Markham's wand would also be good. So maybe those two. And I think we're kind of done with blue items after that. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's worth doing. Just do both of those. I got all the crit ones done, right? Yeah, crit. Stinger's probably worth doing, actually. Let's see, so we'll use 36 for the two blue, and then we'll still have a little left over. So that seems fine. We'll get the evasion next time, probably. Maybe we should get it now. Yeah, we'll get it next time. Not too worried. Uh, let's grab the Stinger, since we are half our damage is physical, that'll give us 40% armor penetration, our other half damage will have 30% resist penetration, so that'll be nice. I mean, I guess there's some pros and cons about the Sorcerer having split damage. In some regards, if something has really high armor, your magic damage isn't affected, and vice versa. Uh, so six stars. Probably gonna do blackjack, and we already did. We already did gladiator's net. So let's get some blackjack action. Maybe some resist. Resist could be good actually. We already did the mana ring and the ring of rejuvenation. Could use spellbook as well. Makes it like half a. Scepter of Kings. It's a really common item. Or even more penetration. That's probably our highest DPS item. And our highest survivability item is probably the, the Amulet of Resistance. But I don't think we had any issue, to be honest. So let's just get more damage. Alright. So that actually is the Sorcerer NG plus six. All right, so it's nine o'clock. Hmm. What do we want to do now? We don't have enough time for another run. We could do like an ore run. 